What's up guys? Patreon request from Dave on Patreon. Sent me this request. Dave Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It's his birthday month as well. So happy birthday, Dave. Well, birthday, birth month, Dave. So um, let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So I found this cool image of him. He looks intense. I haven't watched it yet. I will get around to watching it. No time these days. Kids, huh? <laughs> anyway, let's go. Center point of my page about he, well, here. Oh yeah, the eyes will be, it's a, yeah, we'll put the eyes along this halfway. Diagonal line up that way. And then top eyelid line comes across relatively flat. Kind of flicks out the end. There. And then he has like a little sort of spike coming down that way. And then his bottom eyelid line kind of broken a little bit coming around here. So it's like we're, it's like a, a down shot, right? Or it's like we're looking down on his head or he's looking up is another way of looking at it. It's always two ways of looking at things. So his iris is up the top here because he's looking up at us. Like that, and then the pupil will be in the middle, as usual. And then his eyebrow, so he's got like a crinkly sort of eyebrow, right? So the light comes up, down, across the top of his eye, up again, and then spikes that way. And you need to add a little section that you can color, so just brown in there and then he's a bit of a frown line at the front and then an eyelid line here and he does have like a little extra line around his eyes there real delicate line work whoever drew this like is it uh, probably the original animators pretty good right so then the other eye so again Similar sort of thing. So you go diagonal. And then we go across the top. Kind of flicks at the end. The eyebrow will come across this as well. And then we have a little spike coming down here. And then his bottom eye broken. Bottom eyelid line. Might have some extra sort of lines around it there. And then his iris, half circle just coming around here. Pupil somewhere in the middle. Try and keep your pupils the same size because if they're not the same size, the character looks like they're, they've drank too much caffeine or something. <laughs> or something else. So, eyebrow line. Going that way, crinkly, spiking back. Reminds me of like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, his kind of eyebrows. And then we need another section, another line on top that we can like color on the inside. So you're just following around that shape again down to there. So his nose comes out from this. So we go diagonal, straight down. It goes diagonal again. So this type of nose, right? So they do nostrils. They do an extra line on his nose. I don't know if it's necessary. But they, they do, they draw in the shadow here. So it goes like in, out, and then back towards the nostril just there. There is another line on the tip of his nose, but I think I'll leave it like that. Yeah, I think that's enough. My marker will probably just bleed together and become a blob. There's an eyelid line up here, I forgot. Okay, his mouth, pretty serious. And they do that um, sort of broken line thing. So, like so. And then into there. So those lines do not touch. 
And then maybe a bottom lip line. Pretty strong chin. Square. Like that. And it kind of, it doesn't go like straight out for jaws normally. Also, proportions, right? Just before I move on. Eye to nose is about the same as nose to chin. And nose to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. Okay, so your nostril is about halfway between here and here. And then your bottom lip is about halfway between nostril and chin. Right, that's general proportions of the human face. It changes depending on who drew it, basically. <laughs> or if his head is tilted and stuff. So, the jaw will go up the side, kind of curves in and out, like that, right? Same on this side, in, and then it goes out. And then we just go up to the ear. So if you kept that line going, you know, you'd go off this way. You need to aim more up here, right? So if that line kept going, it'd go off that way. But we're aiming for, like, the direction of our line to be here, okay? beside his eye so our ears so we got an ear here like so right, and then there's ear lines inside right easiest way to get yourself started is a, le a letter J like that right let's say on this side you just go J Okay, it's like a, looks like a letter J or a letter T or something. And then we go extra lines inside if you want. If you're looking for that extra level of detail. So it, the side of his head is like shaved with like zigzag lightning style lines and it comes down from the top of the ear first. Just goes up, down, up, and like the side of his head is here. And then you just do three of these. And the final one like goes into his hair here. So that's his hairline. Same thing kind of on this side. These are smaller because it looks like we're in a bit of a three quarter pose. So this side of his head is like slightly smaller. We just do three of them again. And this one goes underneath his hairline. So his hairline just keeps going down like zigzag sort of thing. Like that. And in general, your forehead is about the same size as your nose. Right, so see here and here are about the same. Rough proportion. And then texture lines just Coming up along his hair a bit here. And then hair spikes coming out the back of his head. He's real spiky. It's like an ice gem. We have uh, candy or sweets over here. They're called ice gem. But they have like this kind of shape on top. I don't know if they still make ice gems. So just hair spikes going that way. Okay. Now, clothing and some anatomy. So he's got a big collar, right? Comes across his, touches his jaw down off the bottom, right? Goes around the back of his ear. And there's like an edge to it as well. It kind of sticks out this way. There's like some futuristic looking things on it. Little sort of boxes. Like that. Bit of an edge. Goes around the back of his head. Sticks out. Goes back in. One of those little sticky out bits this thing sticks out the other side and then it runs down that way 
So we get a shoulder, so it just comes, bumps there and then bumps down here. And you've got like a shoulder line that way. And his other shoulder, so his body's turned, right? So you're in three quarters, so you can't see as much. So just like his body there and maybe a bit of his shoulder going that way. Inside of his jacket then runs down here. And then details. So inner line of the collar, jacket sort of area here. It's kind of gray. Runs off down here. Then you got like a fold line there. And there's a full line there and then like a black line here I think there's a black line around here oh in the back of his neck as well there and there's two little things sticking down here I don't know what they are right and then details on the side of his jacket here Right, and then his like his neck muscles coming down this way, collarbones, another his neck actually goes over that collar, so we got it like we'll draw over that, so we go like a bit of a neck muscle there, like that. And I'll raise that line. And then we got a t-shirt. Gold chains. One there. So they kind of go over one another, but... So we'll put that one on top, and then this one underneath maybe and does he have a cross on it looks like a Christian cross but I doubt it so Because you know, future and stuff probably looks different, it's got these boxes on it. <laughs> sort of like this, I think. And then, like, just the collar of his t shirt has an edge, and then we have like another detail over here. these sort of lines four lines on his jacket like that that's everything I think hope it's helpful Thanks for the request, Dave. Anyone else with specific requests, head over to Patreon, sign up, shoot me the request, and I'll get on it as quick as I can within that month. I do do. Dave Martinez.